So no, it wasn't just all ice cream and cake. <laughs> Missouri S&T's first African-American graduate, Leela Thompson Flagg, reflects on coming to Rolla in the late 1950s. I came because I wanted to get the degree and I wanted to make some money so that I could afford a few things. Before Flagg even began classes, she discovered new challenges for women and African Americans on her path toward a civil engineering degree. My high school math teacher had told me that I had very high ability in math and then I got a scholarship to come here. It was just at that time the only place to go for engineering. We didn't discuss how few women were here. And then the registrar then told me, okay, she's in, but you have a problem. She has nowhere to stay. There were no girls' dorms, so we had to search for a place for me to live. I stayed on First and Olive with a Mrs. Winfrey who worked at the hospital. Well, there I am. The only time on campus that I ever had a class with someone who was not a white male was when I had one of the calculus courses with a girl named Jean. A lecturer tried to agitate Flagg. As far as racial things on campus, I only had one really bad situation. There was a person, and I, I no longer remember his name. This person singled me out for a lot of harassment. He would read poems about women that were not appropriate. During the St. Pat's Parade, one teacher singled Flag out to attend a Saturday class when everyone else was excused. The parade and everything was on Saturday, and usually they just, every person dismissed Saturday classes. So when they raised their hand and asked him about Saturday classes, he said, yeah, if you can get someone to come here and sit and answer role for you. And then he looked straight at me, he says, but some of you, I'll know if you're not here. And I knew he was talking about me. So I had to cancel that time going home, and I stayed because of that. And I never did report it to anyone on campus. After graduating with a civil engineering degree in 1960, Flagg accepted an engineering job in California. When I graduated, I didn't know I had a job, and they sent me a telegram <laughs> to tell me that they were going to hire me there. They had interviewed me on this campus. In the Midwest, they were not hiring African Americans at all, particularly not African American women. Because when you look at me, I am well educated, but my top salary is so low, I wouldn't even tell you what it was. I cared about going in and doing what needed to be done.